Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a first impression and a giveaway, I hope it's a good palette, of the new, I believe this is limited edition, Wet n Wild 40 palette. And this thing is like literally huge, I can't put it, the full thing in frame without cutting myself out. This is the palette that sparked a little bit of controversy for being a dupe for the Morphe James Charles palette and if you look at it closely it does look fairly similar but I don't know if this is a popular or unpopular opinion. I really am not against dupe brands or dupe palettes. I've done several reviews for dupe palettes including Bad Habit, Alter Ego. I compare it to what you see at the grocery store because you've gone to the grocery store and you've seen like the Kraft mac and cheese on the shelf and then you've looked a few spots over and you see the store brand mac and cheese. That's literally the same thing that you're getting with like these dupe palettes and it's just a side effect of capitalism, quite honestly, because you're gonna get these no matter what brand, no matter what industry, no matter what you're in, there's going to be a kind of knockoff product. So personally, I am not against dupes in any way, shape, or form. So I really didn't have a problem with this palette. Even before the controversy happened, I wanted to try this out because it's one of the first, if not in the first, big palette. I've seen Wet n Wild come out with. They've always come out with like smaller, like they're 10 pans, but they're really tiny palettes or quads or like small kind of things. This is the first palette I've seen where they put like work into this. Like the cover art is gorgeous. Like it feels sturdy when I hold this. Maybe even sturdier than a Morphe palette because Morphe had like those cheapy kind of plastic packagings to them. But this feels sturdy and so I really want to test this out and see if the formula of these shades actually like live up to the formula in their tinier palettes because while the packaging might be kind of garbage those palettes perform amazingly except for like their limited edition stuff I've tried the limited edition palettes and for the most part those are pretty garbage but their permanent collection, like eyeshadow palettes, I don't know why they changed the formula, because their permanent collection, like 10 pan palettes, are amazing, and they need to stick to that formula, because it's a great formula at a super affordable price. So anyway, while I have swatched the heck out of this palette, I have not yet put it on my eyes. So today, we are going to do three looks, and I'm gonna tell you how we're gonna do that. I really wanna do one look on each of my eyes here, which is why I'm not wearing foundation or anything else. I literally just did my brows and then primed my eyes. I primed my eyes with the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas, and then I just set it with my face powder. So we're gonna do two different looks here. I'm thinking we're gonna do one neutral and one pink purple look to use those shades. And then we're gonna take that off and I'm gonna actually do my full face of makeup, probably off camera. And then I'm gonna do a full look with the greens in this palette, maybe the yellow too, because I really wanna see how those work. And then I'm gonna wear that for a full day. So I'm trying to get the most out of this because it's technically, it is a first impression since this is my first time using the palette on my eyes, but I wanna give it a full good try. So we're gonna use as many shades as I can. We're gonna do a full wear test where I can and at the end of the video, I'm actually going to do a giveaway because I picked up two of these palettes. So I do have the second palette here in its original packaging, not opened. So I do want to do a nice giveaway because I haven't done a giveaway on my channel in a long time. So I'll, slut <laughs> so I'll let you know at the end of the video how to enter the giveaway if you want to enter the giveaway for this limited edition because I do believe it is limited edition Wet n Wild palette. All right, so let's jump in first with, I'm going to try... A neutral look on one eye so okay it's hard to show the full palette but over here I really like these shades and these shades so I'm gonna try and use those and it's impossible to like I'm not gonna like put numbers up for these shades but I, when possible I'll just show you which shade I'm using like in the corner editing Monica will have a lot of work to do but she'll she'll do it <laughs> boo Just one year ago 
Okay, so this was the quick neutral look I was able to do with this palette, and I have to say, I'm actually really impressed by how well the mattes blended out. I did this throw, like, the lightest shimmer on my lid just to see how it would look together, but this, I mean, I've got no qualms with how this looks. It blended out really nicely, it looks really nice. I can't speak to how well it'll last throughout a day, because I wear test it's going to be coming later, but the neutral shades worked pretty nicely. We are cleaning our brushes in a color switch so we don't mix colors. Okay, so for the second look, I really want to go in with kind of like this quadrant right here using like the pinks and the purples. So let's see what we can do. Well, not tonight. I get home too late. Life is getting busy at day. I keep my schedule up, filling it with meetings and stuff. But now it's all again, hearing voices sing through the night. Where are you, off my friend? Maybe you could love me again. Where did you go, my love? It felt so right. Now I can get you up. Spinning like a circle and I keep walking outside. Okay, and here's what I came up with for the colorful side. I have to say, the first light pink color that I went in with, I did have to build up. It did take a couple of layers for that color to actually show up. But all the colors actually blended just as easily. They blended really nicely, and I didn't have to build up the darker colors as much as that one light pink. So, like, this light pink isn't as pigmented on the eye as it is in the pan. And I do want to say the shimmer shades here, the two, like, there's, like, a purpley and, like, there's a pink one right over here, these two, they don't show up as vibrant on the eye. So you can see, like, I did use both of them on my lid with my finger, which normally gets me the biggest payoff for shimmer shades, and they didn't show up that great. Definitely not as vibrant as the shimmer, like, on this side. So, yeah pretty much what I expected. I'm actually really impressed with how the mattes are blending out, with how the mattes are performing. The shimmers seem to be a little bit hit or miss so far. So what I'm going to do is wash off this, actually do my full face of makeup, and then we'll come back to play with like these green and yellow shades, and then we'll do a wear test with those. Alright guys, so we're back. I have my full face of makeup on, my hair is a little bit more dry, and I've been listening to anime openings for the past hour. <laughs> Whew. I, I, I'm trying to hide it, but you can see my suitcase back here. I waited. I normally never do this, but I waited till the last moment to pack for my vacation, and I leave tonight, so that that's gonna happen after I'm done filming. <laughs> so we're back, and I want to do a look with the green shades, maybe the yellow. We'll see how this goes in the bottom left corner of this palette so probably going to speed through this because i'm sure this video is going to be longer than it really needs to be but let's see how these green shades perform if I touched you right, maybe i could put up a fight baby did i hold you too tight did you know i sleep on the floor every night on my own to try okay so we're gonna pause whatever musical thing we're going through right now so i can show you that i think this shade right here is a total dud let me just so this is a clean brush i just use my color switch and i'm just gonna like dig i am gonna dig and 
there's like nothing on the brush oh my god like oh my god like I'm gonna ruin my brush digging in here and I'm getting this much product and this is after me trying this a few times just to deepen this up and I'm getting nothing which is disappointing. I, I gotta admit, that I was really looking forward to this palette for the, like, red tones and then for the green tones. Like, to have their deepest green matte shade be a dud is disappointing, to say the least. Yeah, I've, like, swatched this thing once and tried going in with a brush and it's just hard pan city. So I don't know if I'm gonna just scrape that off or try something else. But that shade's unusable right now. Did you go? Our love, it felt so right. Now I can get you off my mind. It's spinning like a circle, and I keep walking outside. Well, maybe if I touched you right, and maybe if I put up a fight, but baby, did I hold? Okay, so this is all the shadows for the green look that I was able to come up with, and I have to say, I was so disappointed that this green matte, like, already has hard pan. I'm kind of shocked. I am going to scrape that off and try using it again, but all I did was swatch this yesterday, so I don't know what's going on with that shade. Thankfully, this darker green shimmer came to help me. I used it to deepen out my outer corner, and it's really not that shimmery, and I was able to use it to deepen out that outer corner and on my lower lash line as well. I used this kind of bright shimmer shade all over my lid, and it doesn't look as vibrant as it did like with my neutral look, but again, I'm not using like a glitter glue. I'm just using like the shadows on top of just like a set base, so I don't know if that would turn out a little bit better with a glitter glue. I will have to test that at a later time and then for the inner corner I just use the matte white shade up here to finish it off so what I'm gonna do is just throw on maybe a little bit of liner some mascara finish up my face maybe do my hair and I'll be back for my final thoughts and for the giveaway all right so I am all done and back for my final thoughts on this first impression I have to say overall of the mattes I was very impressed with the way that they blended out the shimmers I feel like they needed to be built up a little bit uh, we're gonna see how they actually like perform throughout a day. I'll throw in a clip in a little bit of this eye look at the end of a full day. That being said, about the mattes, the really light colored mattes, I felt like they weren't as pigmented and needed a lot more building up than the deeper mattes, which is a bit confusing to me because I always thought that like deeper mattes were always harder to make like pigmented and... I don't know, like, I feel like it was a bit odd seeing that the problem here is with the light colored mattes and not the deeper mattes, because the deeper mattes all worked amazingly. Whereas with every light colored matte I used, including like this light kind of blue green, the light kind of like neutral shade, and then the light shade over here, I feel like I always had to build those up more than any other shade. So I'll go ahead in here, throw in a video or photos from the end of the day with this eye look just to show you how these last through a day. The shimmer is a bit, mm, but the mattes lasted pretty well. I definitely just started taking my makeup off before doing this, so <laughs> that's why half of it is gone. But yeah, I'm impressed by the mattes. Not so much with the shimmers. So there's my check-in. Overall, I have to say that I'm still pretty 50-50 on this palette. I'm really impressed with the deeper matte shades, but I feel like the lighter mattes and the shimmers need a bit more testing out. But overall, I'm still pretty excited. Like, 
I'm excited that there's a palette that's this big. I always say that palettes this big are a downside, but from a brand that always comes out with small palettes but has a good eyeshadow formula, I was actually really excited to see something different, something bigger, which disappoints me considering the fact that this is supposed to be only limited edition. That being said, even if it's limited edition, I did pick up an extra one still in the original packaging to do a giveaway with. So for this giveaway, all you guys have to do is be subscribed down below and then let me know down in the comments what are your thoughts on dupes, dupe palettes, and dupe companies and let me know your handle either on Instagram or on Twitter because I need a way to actually private message the winner to get their address. So just let me know down below. Make sure you're over 18. If you're not over 18 we are going to need parents permission but make sure you're over 18. You have either Instagram or Twitter so I can message you and let me know down below what your thoughts on dupes and dupe companies are. Per YouTube's requirements, I will have all of the nitty gritty details in the description box, so make sure to open that up and fully read all of the rules down there as well. The giveaway will be open for exactly one week from the day that this is posted, so I will have the date down here that the giveaway is open until. On that day, I will randomly choose one of the comments down below to win this Wet n Wild palette. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.